Why don't you run the company to be profitable now? Why didn't you go after being profitable by the month to, to be able to sustain all this? That's actually exactly what we did, Mark. We, but you're, look, we, we lost a million dollars. The in journey to get here, we aggressively drove CAC to the floor. We've been the number one lowest CAC in the That's such a nonsense per parameter. You start small. You got a nice little product, and whatever you do, you go door to door, you go online, you sell it locally, and you make money and you grow, but now your back is really against the wall, right? Because you're losing money on every sale. So the more customers you acquire, the more money you lose, unless you can make sure that you're selling them a whole lot more products, and your products are expensive. And, you know, the bread on sliced, you get it, and it's like, uh, what do I do now? Yeah. You know? You know, take a bite out of it? That crust is actually very important to preserving the product. People buy that product for the trifecta of three reasons. You can't find something this healthy that tastes this good that's this fresh. Then why don't you say that? Why don't you say that? Because you say so. That was the best thing you said all day. Yeah, exactly. So, that was the best sales yeah. pitch you've made. The, the packaging that you're looking at there is unfortunately our Gen 2 packaging before we really dialed in that positioning statement and figured out that Listen was the winning the combo. You're driving me nuts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we are constantly uh, I know, dialing. I know. Shh, shh. Okay, right. You're overselling with all the jargon when you have an authentically good product, right? Your whole little speech on crust is everything you should be saying and just selling this just because of that. I want a product that's going to give me all these things that I can't get from a sliced product. That's all you had to say. So simplify, focus on the product and amount.